Okay, I feel like I am comfortable and... Hey guys, so welcome back to Sulu Alexa Life. If you enjoy the luxuries, luxuries of life, then consider giving this channel a subscribe. So for today's video, I'm so grateful that I can put it up this week because I was a little worried that I wasn't going to be able to, but I did in fact have a backup video, the yays and nays of the Met Gala. So if this is a video that you're interested in watching, you know, leave it down in the comments, but I'm still going to do it anyways. Just letting you guys know. Crystal of the day, which is a fluorite. It's going to be this crystal. It kind of reminds me of clouds. I love how transparent and the different colors of it all today's video is going to be a luxury fragrance video for spring summer i was looking for scents and just fragrances that are nice transitional fragrances and fragrances that i would like to wear more in the warmer temperatures whatever and today's video is actually sponsored is my first sponsored video i'm really excited to work with this company because guess what if you're looking for fragrances that have you smelling a luxurious peachy good and juicy but you don't want to pay the luxurious juicy peachy price ALT fragrances might be the one for you. They make inspired fragrances from Byredo to Maison Francis and even have the replica. Replicas, isn't that kind of funny? But they have a lot of really nice fragrances and they were kind enough to send me, not one, not two, but three fragrances. And of course your girl talks about luxury, so the girl got the ex. So if this is something that you want to, you know, learn more about as we get into the video, then keep on watching. I did not buy the actual fragrances. Out of all of them, there is one fragrance that I do really, really, really want to get. And I guess I'll start with that one. So the first fragrance that I got from ALT was Bohemian Waters. This is inspired by Byredo's Gypsy Waters and all of the fragrances come in this beautiful black sleek box at first i was a little confused because i was like okay which fragrance is this it doesn't say it but it's kind of like a little surprise right when you don't know you open it it's like bam christmas in may <laughs> what they are cruelty free and i'm going to read you what it says in the back real quick it says thank you for trusting us us to send to you your loved ones your surroundings at alt we believe that luxury fragrances should be available for all to wear and experience we strive to be able to offer you the opportunities of building a fragrance collection full of high-end scents without having to spend hundreds if not thousands in the process each bottle of alt is handcrafted and compounded in miami florida is this a sign Using ingredients of unsurpassed quality so that you can truly smell your best for less. Okay, nice. Very, very nice. Love it. Love it, AT ALT. I was calling it ATL, but it's ALT. Is it an ATL Atlanta? Is that it? Okay. So, beautiful description. I like holding the mic. Like, that's my thing. I have been wearing all of the fragrances just to get a feel, to see how long it lasts. I'm a sucker for fragrances that last long. I just spread it. I freaking love the scent. To me, the Byredo Gypsy, out of all the Byredo fragrances, there were two that stood out to me, and it was Gypsy Waters and Casablanca Lily. That one, like, there is a it's only a small bottle and it's like three hundred dollars and the same goes for the large bottle in byredo there is a smaller bottle for 196 and this bottle was i'm gonna tell y'all how much it was even when you put it on it's strong oh my god it just smells so freaking good okay i'm gonna read to y'all the byredo so you can kind of imagine the notes 
You can't smell it from me, I'm sorry. If I could, I would let you guys smell it. Oops. Gypsy water is an, what? An ade to the beauty of Roman culture. It's unique custom, intimate beliefs. And if I can hear my dad in this video, I cannot right now. And I just yell, I'm like, stop screaming as I'm screaming. <laughs> okay, so Gypsy Waters is an added to the beauty of Roman culture, its unique customs, intimate beliefs, and distinguished ways of living. The scent wakens a dream of a colorful lifestyle made in intimate nomadism, woody notes of pine needle and sandalwood associated in the intense amber and fresh citrus evokes the fever of gypsy nights spent in the forest. I'm not a gypsy, so I wouldn't really know what a gypsy night means. That's all it says on the site. I really like how the how beautiful, simple, and clean the Byredo bottle looks. I really do like how clean, sleek, the bottle is as well really nice I do think I am gonna get the actual fragrance I really do like it but for now a girl's gonna be hooked on this um, I got ALT Duchess so this one is a fragrance inspired by Delina and I actually did get the sample of Delina this one here so I only got a little sample of it but this is um, perfume de Marley Delina. I like how this is pink too, because this is literally like the color of the whole bottle is pink. And the, 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 it says what is in it, a mysterious woody and ambery Eau de Parfum. And the fragrance story is Delina exclusive is the full quiz quintessence of Delina. Some will detect a suede gloved, slightly milky rose. Others, a floral bouquet, good enough to eat with scattered delicious hints of peach, apricot, and lychee after an opening bergamot pear. And the poet is freaking writing these things. The Turkish rose takes on a veil of incense and suggestion of burning oud, oud, before nesting into a soft bed of woody amber and vanilla notes. So the notes, the top notes is bergamot, pear, lychee. Middle is Turkish rose, Turkish rose, incense, ode. I cannot say that word. And the base is wood, amber, and vanilla. Mood, mysterious. <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> okay, so let's compare the two. This scent is freaking strong. A little goes a long way. It smells nice. It smells nice. Like you walk into a room, you will suffocate the people in the room with the smell. I have yet to smell the Delina, so you guys are gonna have my reaction like right now. But she smells so nice. And on me, it smells sweet. I'm gonna try the actual Delina. Ah, oh, crap, I spilled it. It smells the same. Okay, wait a second, there's like a slight difference. This Delina smells kind of like, it smells a little sweeter. Smells kind of candy-ish. That's what I'm smelling, the freaking lychee. Oh my God, and it's made in France. Nice. Uh, ALT one is a little stronger than the actual Delina. But the Delina smells a little sweeter than this one. But they smell similar, but they're not the same. It's like they're sisters, not twins. Whoa, this smells this smells really good. Oh my God, I thought this smelled, and of course it's, I'm like, it's, you know, this is the original. But they did a good, okay, they did a good job because she's strong, she good, and once she chills, like, you know she's there. Okay guys, so the last one, this is one of the most hyped up perfumes. And to be honest, when I first smelled it, I, was not really I honestly was not into it like I was like it was so hyped up that once I finally smelled it I was like this is it all right this one is the crystal perfume gold edition so this is the Maison Francis Courouge 
Dijon, Paris. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. I'm trying, y'all. But um, Baccarat Rogue 540. And this smells really, really, really nice on me. People at work were complimenting me when I would walk by. They're like, oh my God, you smell good. Like I caught a whiff of you. And I was scared it was gonna be strong, but on me, it smells sweet. Where are you, where are you? This is Rose. I got like three different Maison. Okay, here it is. This is the original. There's something sprayed on here. I don't know what it is. Oh, it just... To me, this one, Okay, at first I smell it and it smells kind of, I don't know, it smells kind of weird at first, but then as it dries off and it chills a bit, it smells nice and sweet. Okay, I'm gonna read what the description is for the Baccarat before putting it on to the card. Let's see. Okay, so for Baccarat, it says, what is it? An extract of the perfume filled with strength and radiance of Baccarat Rouge 540, amber and woody floral auras. I feel like that's kind of what I smell. I smell the woodiness and the florals. This, can, this perfume retails, this is the smallest. The smallest can cost you up to $325 and the largest size can cost you up to $625. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, Duchess, my bad, this is not even Duchess. Duchess retails on ALT for $59. You're saving like $300 in Duchess. And for the Crystal Perfume, the Gold Edition, it is $69. And this is a pretty nice like medium size, even though this is a large size bottle. This is, would be considered medium with Baccarat and it'll be between $300 to $600. So $69, $300, $600, maybe $500. I know for a fact I'm not buying the Baccarat, so I'm going to stick with ALT on this one. With the story of Baccarat Rouge 540, it is a luminous and sophisticated, this poetic fragrance features a graphic and highly condescend, highly condescend signature. The notes are jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, and ambergris, made in France. That is all it says. Okay, so a little tiny version of the Baccarat, so I could, you know, compare the two. Okay, I'm trying to... The things I do, because I was like, I am determined to contrast both of them and i get a lot of cute little samples on the way which is good for traveling because i do tend to keep tiny perfumes in my bag because you never know and i think it's nice to have these or i know alt i'm gonna buy like the little oh god no i got it as i was saying for alt i will be buying the little samples just for traveling because i don't want to travel with the large bottles but okay i can't smell it come on come on little one i literally it literally smells the same it literally smells the same this one smells sweeter this one smells sweeter than the Baccarat, the original Baccarat this month. Okay, cool. Let me close this door real quick. So I forgot to mention the four luxury sample fragrances that I got because I did want it to include in this video. So forgive me, our girl took off her makeup and yeah, like I did not think this through, but I did want to include it. So the first one that I wanted to show you guys was Maison Francis Silver. Um, just because the Rogue but the Baccarat one, I know for a fact I'm not going to get it, but I do want to give the actual fragrance line a chance. So the silver one, to me, it smells very unisex. I feel like this one was so hot on a guy. Oh my God. But it smells so good that even I want it. So I will put the description here real quick. So this little snippet of me looking like this is going to be short. Okay, so this one is a yay. I'm definitely getting, I kept saying ALT in the video, but it's all fragrances. 
I'm going to get this one. The next one is again from the same company, but instead it is going to be on the rose. I smelled this one before. I am hell bent on getting it. And Owl Fragrances doesn't have an inspired fragrance of this one. So I was like, oh my god. Definitely gonna get this one. This kind of reminded me like of a sour patch rose. Again, I like roses. I do like rosy scents. And to me, this one stood out the most. And oh my god. It's really rosy. It smells a lot like freaking rose. The next one, it is. Let me do by Rito, because I got the Gypsy water and the Bohemian waters. So let's do by Rito. This is called De Los Santos. And again, I think the other inspired fragrance they have was Mo Mo Mocos. They do have that one in all this fragrance. But okay, so this one's De Los Santos. This is supposed to be the sex as well. I don't know. I don't, I don't like this one. It smells something about it i feel like this one would be more for guys oh wait it's changing it smells kind of spice it has like a spice clove it smells kind of like a clove it changed i feel like an old hispanic man would wear this so i don't think i'll be doing de los santos okay and then the last one is killian don't be shy extreme this is extremely popular okay okay i know alt has the don't be shy inspired fragrance so She's sweet. She's sweet. Hmm. I'll stick to Chanel. Okay, guys, that's it for this segment. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the video. That is it for the comparison portions. I, I do want to add two more perfumes that I did add into my collection. I feel like with the ALT sponsorship, they came at a good time because I've been eyeing the Byredo. That's probably the only perfume that I really wanted to add, and I'm really, really satisfied with the Bohemian Waters. I think it's really clever with the names that they pick because it's really nice. But the next perfume that I did in fact get was Chanel Number no. 1 in Leu Rouge. And the thing is, Leu literally means water. So it's a watered down version of Rouge. I tried to look for the original one. It doesn't exist yet. But I do hope that they come out with a red bottle that is the signature Chanel perfume bottle. You can only find this fragrance in Ulta and it retails for 120. Okay, this is what it says on the site, but it's this big photo of the perfume with the red flower, and it says the intelligence of nature is unsurpassable and it has always influenced the, house, the house's vision of beauty. This intelligence is also what led to the creation of Chanel number no. one, of number one de Chanel. Number one de Chanel, that's what it's called. Number one de Chanel, my bad. I called it Chanel number one, but it's number one de Chanel. A new fragrance of eco-responsible formulas featuring skincare, makeup, and fragrance mist. So it's a mist. Is it a mist? Is that it? At the heart of this holistic anti-aging line is the unique revitalization power of the red camellia extract. So this perfume has red chameleon extract. There's like a whole bunch of stuff in the back. I can't even read it because the bottle is so dark. I went into Ulta to get a new bottle of the Chanel de Tendre, the Chance Chanel bottle. That's one of my favorite bottles. And the essays convinced me to get this one. It smells nice. It took me a while to get used to it, but I really do like how the fragrance smells on me. Definitely, if you're an Ulta, just give it a smell. It's really hard from my understanding to how they were selling me on it it was really hard for them to get consistent restocks because it happens every few months so i was like whatever i'm gonna get it and i got it so this one's on the low end because i got this one for 25 dollars but it was for the kkw and jeff lee them collaboration and this one is the salted the caramel orchid and this has cocoa, salted caramel, and elegance. Divina explode in the introduction. Sunkiss Ylang, exotic blue, heliotrope, and divine jasmine filled the heart. And the base is vanilla, cashmere wood, and cloud like musk to invoke the senses. This perfume at first literally smelled like medicine, but then as it warmed up, the scent changed. It smells really caramelly. 
and I love me a caramel at coffee. I love caramel coffee. So I feel like it was a perfect fit. I think that over time, I'll warm up more to the scent. I didn't reach for this one as much, but I prefer the first collection than the second one. I hope they do bring it back. That is it for my luxury fragrance. I want to thank ALT for sponsoring today's video and I will leave all their information down below. Let me know what perfumes you're into or what luxury fragrances you like and then you know you can go on the site and see if there are inspired fragrances that you guys may like. $49. I'm definitely gonna buy this again and it lasts me a good eight hours so that's why I want to get the travels just to touch up because when you're using the bathroom, I don't know about y'all, but I like to, you know, just touch up a little bit on my fragrances. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys found it helpful. And if you like content like this, hit the like button, subscribe. You already here. I appreciate. Love y'all. Thank you so, so, so much for supporting my channel. And until next time, y'all. Peace.